Well, hey there, and welcome to my fiberglass dolphin. Built in the past, made by Toyota, so you know it will last. Plus, it's good on gas, doesn't go too fast. So if you do happen to see me on the highway, go ahead and pass. Now, when we first got this, it needed some work. We did quite a bit of projects, and that brick is supposed to be on the other side. Anyway, let's rewind in time and uh, see what we did. Come on, let's go. Coffee? Now, I've never owned an RV before. I've seen them on TV, but I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. We're gonna start up here. You can see daylight through there. We're gonna basically get all this up. Let's go around on the outside real quick. So you can see on the outside here, this is just weak, weak. This is gonna be a lot of work. That stuff was really on there. I'm gonna do next is kind of frame this part up just like it was. Reframe that little bit right there. Think carefully about what I'm gonna do here and here. And um, keep moving on. I've got my framing down, I use treated, and now I'm just putting down some tape.
So fixing an RV isn't really that hard. I think anyone can do it. It's just really tedious because it's kind of a confined space and it just, you can get a little bit overwhelmed and it just feels like you're spinning circles. It's a lot to do. It's just not hard work. It's just tedious.
Quick update. Okay, so this is already solid and I was gonna originally use the cushion, but I'm not gonna use the cushion that it came with. I'm gonna put some hydraulics. So this part will lift up and go down and then we'll just get a mattress. Cabinets, don't put masking tape on cabinets, especially the cheap kind with this. Did the cabinets in a white, got this wall done, this wall done, and for like the gaps over here in the fridge, helps me to make it uh, level and it dries hard. Look at this, this is a permabond. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, I'll put a thing. I've seen this before and I always thought like, man, why are people putting duct tapes on their camper? And I asked my wife, I was like, should I take it all the way down this far? Cause I have it going across the whole top. And she said, yeah, it's definitely not gonna leak. It's not duct tape. Well, it might be, mine's not. I'm a window seal, the rubber seals for the outside on the way. And besides that, we're gonna start painting soon. Stay tuned. <clears throat> it's hard to record back here, but I just pulled off a big big scab back here in the shower anyway i want to put some shower surround in here anyway so it's got a vacuum and it's kind of dirty we're gonna start painting in here
RV store today, picked up new shower head and some nozzles and I also got a water regulator. The guy at the RV shop sold me on this, say I need the right amount of pressure. So this is what it is. I put carpet up here. I probably should have put maybe some laminate. But my idea was my daughter was going to be up here and I kind of wanted it to be soft and it's a little better insulated. Got the hydraulics or the gas struts installed. So we thought about putting up blinds or curtains and we probably still will, but I do like how open it looks in here as is with no kind of fixtures on the walls. I've never tended before, but we're gonna give it a shot. On the outside. My wife's not happy with the gap. This stuff isn't totally uh, privacy, so, well, whatever. New tires. So on the bottom you've got like this paper or this black material. It covers the floor and it covers halfway down these kind of lower walls that covers like the uh, water tanks, gas tanks and stuff. But I just went along and formed aluminum, put it all along this bottom part. I might even come in here for the flooring part and kind of piece some aluminum in here and caulk between it just to protect that.